Welcome back to another video guys. In this video I want to talk about sound. We haven't got any sound in our game at the moment so now will be a good time to add some. So actually before I continue I want to delete this object, sorry. So we've got I've got two sounds in the scene. I've got a new folder called sounds. The gunshot, if I play it, that's the gunshot. And we've got a wind as well, so a very, very long wind sound effect. So we can also play this when we click the sound, like so, make things a bit easier. And we can also loop it as well. Um, and that's as complicated as the preview gets. So um, when we import our sounds, we can choose whether the sound is a 3D sound or a 2D sound. If it's a 2D sound, then the sound will not fade over time. It will just be a constant sound wherever we are in the scene. If it's a 3D sound, we can control the frequency over over the area and fade it out and stuff. So the wind is not a 3D sound, it's 2D because I want it to be constant throughout the whole scene. The gunshot, on the other hand, is a 3D sound. All right, guys, so when we load the, uh, the sound into the scene, we can either compress it in the memory, which is what I do most of the time. We can decompress it. If it's a desktop game or a Mac game or whatever, uh, this would be a good thing to do if it's a powerful machine. Or we can stream it from a disc. So, again, this is not used very often because discs are a little bit obsolete now, but they are free options. So, we can compress the uh, the sound. The more we compress it, though, the worse quality it will get. So, uh, compress it to about halfway or something, but oh, that's fine. So um, there are your options for the sound, and to hear our sounds in the scene we need an audio listener, and we kind of take this for granted, but an audio listener is always on the main camera when we first start our project, and we need a listener to actually hear the sounds. In most cases, or in all cases really, the audio listener is on the camera because it follows uh, the player, so we'll be able to hear things that are around the player. And. Uh, we store the sounds on an audio source component. So let's make another game object. Uh, let's call it background sound. And this is going to store the wind. So if we go to component and audio, all of our options are here. These are Unity Pro features. So these are different filters which change the sound frequency and the pitch and make some nice effects. Um, so we've got the listener and the source. So we only need one listener. If we add the source, we can define an audio clip. So let's do the let's do the gunshot first. So the gunshot's a 3D sound. We've got a lot more to play with on the 3D sound settings. We can control how the sound fades away as we get further away from it. The spread is something to do with the stereo or multi-channel sound. So that's kind of complicated. So if we can roll over it, the spread of a 3D sound in speaker space. So. If you're an audio buff, you can do this. And the pan level, how much the 3D position affects the pan. So, so yeah, if the pan level is zero, 3D panning and attenuation is ignored. So it kind of ignores the 3D space. And we've got some predefined graphs here. So the logarithmic roll off is kind of a curve. The linear one, it will fade out over time, like in a constant way. And we can also define our own custom one, so we can add a key and change the curve. So, really is um, quite flexible. So, these are the 3D sound settings, and that's most things you need to know, guys. So, we can change the pitch, the volume, and the priority of the audio source. If it's zero, then it's priority number one. It's always going to be played. So, if we make it change it, we've got a lot of audio sources in the scene. It's it might be missed out if it's 255 so the priority is quite important so let's get rid of the gunshot let's do the wind now so the wind is a 2d sound and this won't have any effect now so we can't do this so the 2d sound settings the pan which we're not going to mess with um, we don't want to mute it bypassing the effects just ignores all the effects guys so if you've got a filter or anything on it any reverb zones it ignores that if we've got that ticked Play on awake, yeah we want to do that. As soon as the scene starts, play the sound and we want to loop it as well. Priority zero. I always want this sound to play in the scene. The volume, I don't want it to be too loud, let's try 0.5. And the pitch can stay at one. Or a bit more so to make it a bit higher. So I don't know if you can hear it on the YouTube video, you probably can. 
there's no wind in the scene. So we can play about these in real time. A bit louder. And um, just to play around with this, I want to add a component, an audio, and an audio high pass filter. So it just it filters out the high frequencies basically. This is way too high. Let's start at 100. And as we go up, 200. Only the high frequencies are being played, guys, so if you've got Unity Pro, you might want to do this. I think it sounds quite good, the high pass filter. So, um, and it looks really freaky because all we can hear now is the wind. It's quite a nice thing to do. So, this is the introduction to sound. In the next video, we'll go into C sharp and code the gunshot. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. See you next